The objective within this lesson is to convert mixed unit measurements and solve multi-step word problems. Here we have the problem 3 and 2 thirds yards equaling how many feet? Which unit is larger? Yards or feet? Right, yards are larger. So we're going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit. So we'll need more of those smaller units to describe that same length. We'll need more feet. Let's draw a tape diagram to model this problem. We want to name three and two-thirds yards into feet. So this bar represents three and two-thirds yards. And I will label it. Let's partition the bar into three whole yards and one smaller unit to represent two-thirds of a yard. So that three and two-thirds yards is the same. Let's write this out. We have three and two-thirds times one yard. Remember that one yard does equal three feet. So if we continue to work this out, we would go three and two-thirds times three feet. So remember, in our diagram, we had each of these here equaling one yard. So we have one yard, two yards, three yards, and remember this little piece right here is worth two-thirds. If we draw another little bar underneath this here to represent that one yard, remember that one yard does equal three feet. And we can divide that into three parts to represent each of those feet. So if that's the case there, each of these is three, six, and nine. And if we have two thirds of a yard, it would be two out of these three parts. So that's three, six, nine feet, 10 feet, and 11 feet. Working this out, what we actually did here is that we made each of those holes into thirds by writing this as a improper fraction. Three times three is nine, plus two is 11. That was three thirds here, three thirds there for three more feet, three thirds there for three more feet, and two thirds there. So we have 11 thirds times three feet which is equal to, we cancel there, 11 feet, just as I had stated before. Read the problem along with me. A container can hold four and one-half pints of water. How many cups of water can two containers hold? This looks like a two-step problem. First, I'm going to have to convert four and one-half pints into cups. And then the other problem is saying that it's asking for two containers instead of just one container. Let's draw a tape diagram for four and a half pints. This is the entire diagram that represents four and one-half pints. We'll go ahead and partition where it is that we have each of those there 
equaling one pint, which is also equal to two cups. Remember that the relationship is that one pint does equal two cups. So I have two cups there, I have two cups there, another two cups there, and another two cups there. And then this right here is a half a pint, and so a half of two is equal to one cup. Our multiplication expression to show this was four and one half times one pint to begin with, and remember that one pint does equal two cups. Let's express four and one half as an improper fraction, and then we'll restate that expression. Each whole is equal to two halves, so four wholes is equal to eight halves, plus another half is equal to nine halves, so we have nine halves times those two cups. And nine halves times two cups does equal nine cups. So, <clears throat> just as my diagram is showing, in that container that holds four and one half pints of water, I have two, four, six, eight, and nine. Now the other problem though is this asking how many can two containers hold. So nine cups is one container. So I will go nine and nine, which is 18 cups. Answering in a complete sentence, it's two containers can hold 18 cups of water. If I had written out my focused answer, that would have helped me so that I make sure to answer the right question. In both of the previous problems, we are converting from larger units to smaller units. What if we're converting smaller units to larger units? Let me show you an example. If we had 11 feet equaling blank yards, we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. Recall that the relationship is that three feet does equal one yard. We can rewrite this as 11 times one feet equaling how many yards? And recall that we can rewrite this relationship so that one foot does equal one-third of a yard. This is what we had done yesterday where we described one yard equaling three of these feet, which of these was a foot, so that, hmm, I'm writing one and an FT in there, each of those was a foot so that one of them was worth one-third of a yard. So using this here, Within my expression there, we have 11 times 1 foot, but 1 foot is 1 third of a yard, which is equal to blank yards. So 11 times 1 third is equal to 11 thirds yards, which improper fraction over to a mixed number, 3 goes into 11 three whole times, and it's 2 thirds. So we have 3 and 2 thirds yards. Let's think that this is reasonable and makes sense. Um, we have 11 feet, so if we have three yards, that's each of the yards is worth three feet, so that's three, six, and nine, and then we add two more, and then we do get 11. In fact, this 11 feet equals three and two thirds yards. This is exactly that same problem, and this is the first problem that we did within this video. Except we're working in the reverse now from that smaller unit to that larger unit. Here's a problem for you to try. Remember that four quarts equals one gallon. And if four quarts equals one gallon, think about what one quart equals. Pause that video and work this out. One quart equals one quarter of a gallon then. So that if we have 17 quarts, that's 17 times one quart equaling 
certain amount of gallons. And then we replace that 17 times 1 quarter of a gallon, equaling length gallons. That would be 17 fourths gallons. And making that improper fraction into a mixed number, 4 goes into 17 four whole times with that remainder of 1. So that's 4 and 1 quarter gallon. 17 quarts equals 4 and 1 quarter gallons. Here's another one for you to try. We have 2 and 3 fourths feet equaling how many inches? We're going from a bigger to a smaller unit, so we need more of those smaller units. We need more inches to describe 2 and 3 fourths feet. Sometimes it helps to draw that tape diagram. So if this is that whole thing, 2 and 3 fourths feet, we have 1 foot, 2 foot, and then this one here is 3 fourths of a foot, and where each of these is 1 foot, which is also 12 inches. Showing our work, pause that video, do your work. It would be 2 and 3 fourths times 1 foot, and then you would have 2 and 3 fourths times 1 foot does equal 12 inches. And then so basically we're saying, hey, this is 12, 24, and then this was 3 fourths of 12. 3 fourths of 12 is also equal to 9. So that was 12, 24, and 9. The answer should be 33. Let's see if we do get that. 2 and 3 fourths as an improper fraction is 11 fourths times 12. Let's cancel. And we have 11 times 3, which equals 33, and that's 33 inches. 2 and 3 fourths feet equals 33 inches. So, we have worked with some measurement problems. And then it's all about showing those relationships between each of those units, thinking about whether you're going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, or from a smaller unit to a bigger unit.